Hey guys, Noli here and welcome to my channel. In today's video we will check basic positioning of ship, mostly for battleships and cruisers. Um, and um, why our left intro in this video is actually, of course, when the game is starting you should check which which map is and uh, you should have some kind of rough plan what you will do. So in this particular map uh, I, have, I see that uh, in my entire team is going for B and C and that means that I will go for C if the team went for A and B I would go for B so in this particular map you don't want to split A C because then you cannot support each other and here I'm doing actually first mistake so I have my guns on the left side of ship and that means that if I can only now go forward or I can go uh, on the right side on the flank of the map it could be okay if we will have some ships in front of C, but I cannot turn on the left side, so I cannot push for B, because if I push for B, I will close my shooting arcs. And now I understand, I understood that there is no ships in, in, above the sea. I need to switch my guns on the right side of the ship, so I can push for B and give them support on B if needed, so we can grab the B and i will need some time to do that so that was my mistake because i'm now losing precious time where i could have with i'm shooting only with 50 percent of my guns but i could actually shoot if my guns were in the correct position uh, on the right side of ship i could you have used at least two or three salvos with all all 10 guns that i have on julius and uh, this is uh, basically you always and this is exactly what positioning is about. Uh, I know that, I don't know, but I have a feeling that a lot of people think that this game is actually rather dynamic, so that you are just sailing away, you know, enemies sailing, you are sailing, everything is happening relatively fast, but actually the game is much more, um, uh, should be much more slower, uh, should be much more strategic, so you you have very little time to decide actually you know will you turn the gun will you have the guns on, on the right side or the left side will you turn the ship left or right backwards or forwards but you have to have this strategic approach so you have to think like okay if my guns are on the right side that means that i can turn my ship on the left side and support b and if my guns are on the wrong side of the of the ship then I won't be able to support B, you know, and this this is crucial in positioning, thinking what will happen or what could happen in in next 30 seconds or, or a minute, you know. Uh, and uh, so here I did a second mistake, so I was thinking that I'm actually re reversing, but I didn't press the reverse button and I'm just standing in place. So at some point I will now, I even try to turn now, but I will then realize, okay, it's not turning because I'm not going backwards. Uh, so yeah, it, it helps, helps a lot to me, um, but nonetheless, yeah, so uh, uh, the thing about positioning is actually to think what will happen with, you know, what will happen with the enemy position, what will happen with position of your guns, and what will happen with position of your ship in, not now, but in, let's say, next 30 seconds, so try to think about that. The other thing is, try to keep an eye on a minimap and this is something that i always forget especially when you know there's like a battle and a lot of things is going on and it's like it's like super dynamic and, and uh, action so i forgot to check what, what is the situation in minimap and you should actually uh take a look at minimap or just you know glance what is what is the situation every 15 seconds 15 20 seconds just to understand okay here is the enemy here is what's happening where is the ddis especially in the higher tiers and this was, for example, uh, in this uh, particular case, I was aware that these DD were coming from the left side behind the island. So I was able to actually turn my ship into the direction from which he's coming and then just hit uh, two torpedoes. Instead, if I was pushing forward or turning on the, le on the, on the right side and, and pushing uh, through B, I would probably hit all eight torpedoes and would be already long ago dead. So uh, this is this is very crucial to especially you know, on tier eight or especially tier ten when you are playing against Shimakazas and this kind of stuff. You know you really really want to keep an eye on the mini map. So, to, like if I if I saw somewhere Shimakaze or like these DDs are coming somewhere on the left side, I would be, I would be very careful. You know especially if they are not spotted that there is a DD somewhere there and torpedoes could come. So uh, and I will position my ship accordingly. So uh, please uh, 
think about think about so uh, if the you know if the enemy is on the let's say left side you know where do my guns need to be do they need to be on the left side and the right side right side if i will turn my ship left or right so this is this is the question that you have to ask yourself um, when you're when we are talking about positioning and then this should be uh, this is this is a crucial thing uh, then the other thing is just check this minimaps remember to, to check the minimaps and then one crucial thing that I see that people are doing this a lot of time is that they are just sailing all over the place so if you check our uh, two battleships that are left I think that they did full circle around the map and then it's okay they're drawing the focus of these two ships but if you check my position so I went to C turn to B and then just go uh, stop there and, and pull a little bit backwards and this was it so there is no need to you know sail all over the map I mean there is scenarios and, and tactics where you can you know flank with cruisers and so on and so forth but in majority of situation you, you shouldn't be like sailing all over the place you should be just like uh, uh, find a good position and, and keep it. Then, when the situation is clear, like now, or, or you know, when you see okay, we are winning, or you know, I can push here and there, you can then push and sail away. But usually, when I get in the range, I, I try not to push too much forward because they will definitely then focus on, on the closest ship and the, the ship that is easiest to get hit, and you can be down very quickly. Okay, so I hope that this gives you a rough basic overview of the positioning uh, and, and one important thing is this comes with experience. So I'm not anymore thinking about all of this stuff, so it just comes naturally because I have a lot of games played. So try practicing a little bit on lower tiers because they are much more forgiving than, than higher tiers and then it will come as, as a habit. Okay guys, I hope you liked it, find it useful, uh, please hit like and subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye!